I still don't know which one is better, GitHub Copilot or using GPT on the openai.com. The jury is still out. Assume this is a new JavaScript function. So we do have update graph, don't we? Should be update output graph. We have finalized waveform, yes. Yeah, I think we call data the actual data. So we have different types of data. I have to name them properly. This is not actually happening. Let's see the output. I might understand if it's a little bit taking stuff from the JSON file. Want to write some code? It's still thinking about it. It's not quite clear what's being sent uh, to the chatbot, considering we have the context in two files. Make sure output graph is visible. Yeah, it's just not the uh, GitHub copilot is not doing anything. Okay, that's obviously not it. Also, we're not doing anything with the signal and uh, we're taking data from JSON uh, okay that's obviously won't do it oh, that's clearing the graph okay signal map no it's not signal map yeah so the output graph that is missing at the moment should be plotting a detection error and percent unknowns over time on a modify analyze okay detection error history yeah we should have it already do we have detection error history already we need to update the output graph okay can you actually do it so we should be passing this as a json file you might not need it over here yeah i would like to clear it it should be like a default option yeah, so this is writing a wrong code. It's not actually taking uh, the correct data. Uh, how to update based on the previous response. So this is update to the JavaScript, mainly after this update output graph function. Right, this is more like it. Yeah, so we have two traces, percent detection error and percent unknown. Yeah, data looks legit. And we're using plotly to plot. Okay, analyze waveform. It's the next function. Then data update output yes. Data noise signal yes. Update output graph. Why are we passing the entire data to this object? I don't think this is quite right. Why are we? sending the whole data to the update output graph function shouldn't it be just the necessary components from the json file well it's not a file but you know what i mean from the api yeah update data graph should not accept data yeah this one looks more like it so we're only passing the necessary data to the update output graph that sounds legit. Does it actually work? There's some sort of uh, naming uh, differences. Copilot should be able to handle this one quickly. Uh, input wave declared twice. Yes, the server does return the expected noisy signal property in the response data. The analyze root result. I have this noisy signal somewhere yes turning it to least so that's what the tool meant to be doing it meant to be able to select your input waveform which we already have add the noise on top of the signal and there is a fuzzy logic algorithm behind this that will do detection based on a couple of points in the signal now we're actually changing well considering we're rebuilding the whole thing we're also making a few changes a uh, where the fuzzy logic algorithm actually looking at uh, two features we might add more features later 
one is the symmetry of the signal and the other one is sharpness so how spiky or not spiky it is so we're looking at those two so this is what this prototype does if we manage to get it working again so it's complaining about that noisy signal not being passed to the front end from the server key copilot says that the data is being returned from the server don't think there is an error in the add noise functions why is this the only one that has a that has a to list conversion is it possible that the, the error is due to the fact that the noisy signal is the only one that is converted to list before transferred as JSON? So now I'm confused that's suggesting we should be turning all of them to list. Pretty sure the JSON file. Um, okay, let's check what's in noisy data. Let's do that quickly. Should see the whole data in the console. The JavaScript, the plotly JavaScript is loading forever. Okay, we're having a bunch of errors. Input graphs stopped working as well. Right, noisy signal data is missing. And we have it in the Python code. Something with noisy signal. And we're converting it to list. We really need that JavaScript locally somewhere. So it doesn't take uh, 20 seconds to load. Yeah, it's obvious, uh, obvious that we don't need an extra function there. Let's see if we get, uh, we should not get that error. Yeah, we need to solve the fact that noisy signal data is missing. Try copilot back to copilot keep jumping uh, back and forth between uh, copilot and uh, github and um, gpt4 so server is not returning noisy signal might be returning it but it's not defined the server side we don't expect exceptions can try commenting out the to list method yeah try that already check uh, Rain signal, rain noisy signal, loading forever, that's another problem. Okay, we're getting a 500 for false analyze. And from the back end, didn't notice this one before. There's a try and ex accept block that caches all exceptions, and blah blah. The exact issue is the end accept to actually print the error. It's a good idea. Control F5 it. Yeah, I think now we're getting closer. I don't remember this whatsoever. A non type. It's a non type. Ah, okay. It's a good suggestion because, yes, we need more troubleshooting. Is it possible that the input wave is none? I didn't think it was possible. Obviously, that is what uh, what's happening. Yeah, okay, I need to keep troubleshooting so the input wave is empty why it's a problem with the generate signal function with amplitude value yeah we're doing the same should have been getting them twice now okay so i do get this one now it was working before that's why I just need copper to sort it out yeah input wave value should always be present that's right I didn't think there isn't even an option for it not to be present. It's not, okay, we already have that. You're going in circles now. You are going in circles. You already gave me that response. Can you try something else? Yes, the input wave value is none. But why does it happen to begin with? Yeah, we could use more debugging. Printing, printing the whole data. So we have input wave square. Noise amplitude point one. Okay, it's something with the name. Ah, it's because we changed. Okay, we have the data, the signal, the noisy signal, the output. We clear the console. I mean, noisy signal is definitely there. 
we're getting closer that's working now noise signal seem okay but i still get noise signal data is missing and that the problem so no are we labeling json javascript or python code let's try javascript the issue might be that this noise signal that is not in the expected format input graph function expects noise signal to be an array but it's not an array is it not an array looks like an array but it could be a list i don't even know the difference really it does contain numeric values and then that uh, wait console that won't work it's giving an error no, actually we might finish up because we're going in circles see you next time bye